Hi, welcome to Training Tuesday here at the Training Centre in Warrington. I'm Rob Evans and today what we're going to look at are Schrader valves and expansion vessels. Now I've just recharged the expansion vessel back up to one bar pressure because it had lost its charge. Now once I've removed my pump, what we need to do is spray a little bit of leak detector fluid down through the top of the Schrader valve to make sure it's not passing. Now if you notice, on this Schrader valve we've got little bubbles appearing, so it means that the Schrader valve's not creating a seal. Now a number of things that we can do, we can put a bit of silicon grease inside that Schrader valve and just work the valve up and down so it lubricates the o-ring internally. If it's still passing after that point, then what we can do is use a small Schrader valve removal tool which is available online for two or three pound and then what we need to do is pop that in we can then unscrew the Schrader valve so there's the Schrader valve all we need to do then is just replace it with a new one so the kit that I purchased online from eBay was about three pound and it came with five replacement Schrader valves so if you do have one that needs to be replaced because it's passing, then this kit is really useful. So all we have to do is pop it in, tighten it up, recharge expansion vessel, and then another squirt the leak detector fluid to make sure that it's not passing. So that's how we can replace, check, and change a Schrader valve. Don't forget if it was under warranty, then our Bax engineers would do this uh, as part of the the warranty plan. Thanks very much. See you again and take care. Bye bye.